Good afternoon, Captain Matt Edwards here on another one of my short videos. I do these videos right on the spot when I think of something that I feel should, you know, I should make people aware of. I just grab the phone and put it up to my face and record. This one is about the debt that is owed to the Canadian Forces member who is injured in service. When someone puts their body and life on the line for Canada, they are basically owed a debt, not some ephemeral and philosophical debt, but an actual physical debt. If you lose some body part in service to Canada, then you are supposed to be compensated, which has a technical definition, which means to be repaid for your loss. Now, that part is fairly simple. Most people would understand it. The problem I'm getting and why I thought of making this video is that the government of Canada doesn't seem to, seem to understand that it's a debt owed to us, and they put limitations on paying back that debt, that if you have the earnings loss benefit, uh, you get Canada Pension Plan, then they don't pay you the debt they owe you. If you get uh, the Canadian Forces Pension, they decide that they don't owe you anything. If you get CISIP, Long-Term Disability Insurance, they don't pay you the debt they owe us. So the thing about this is that, you know, they don't have a leg to stand on when they say they want to know about all of our uh, financial matters. Because they owe us. We don't owe them. They're not giving us a freebie. So if you get a little bit miffed by all the questions that Veterans Affairs ask us about what other benefits you get, well, frankly, it's none of their business. If you get anything from Veterans Affairs, it's because they owed you a form of compensation, a debt, and if you have other monies, that's not their grand business. If you were run down by a car, for example, and then you had to sue the driver for damaging you, if he said to you, like, do you get kind of the pension plan? You'd tell him to take a sh flying leap off of whatever, short bridge or something. The person who hurt you has no right to put limitations on what they pay you. They can't make you do rehabilitation, and they can't say what other monies you got.